it looks like your your third baby. Uh, so uh, there comes the question, you know, how how do you sell your baby, and uh, how do you? And uh, this is something uh, we also talked with with founders that you know sold their business after two years, and they say that there is you know kind of a personality crisis. You're you're no longer the CEO of your company. You know, you're no longer the guy that runs pipeline, right? So how did you decide to go for it? And I know that at first you, you've had a few offers, right? From other companies, you ended up with SaaS Group. So uh, how did it come to your mind and how did you decide to actually look into it more seriously? Sure. It was an evolutionary process, I think. Um, I think I didn't suffer. I was happy not to be CEO anymore. Like, uh, I think a time comes where, and Nick and I, before Dirk from SAS Group cold called us, um, I, Nick and I were already transitioning to be more investors, right? And be more uh, out of the day-to-day -day operations. Um, and as that, pro A, you wanted to make sure two people, two, two cohorts or groups of people were taken care of. Number one is the team, because without the team, there's no company. Um, and I knew when I was in charge, I would take care of them. Right. Um, but passing that baton is a big deal. And the second group is also the customers, right? If you don't have a team to run the company and you don't have customers, what do you, you don't have anything, right? It's, it's, it's over. And we tried using investment bankers a time or so before, and we ended up with SAS Group not having to have a whole cadre of people, right? It was Nick, me, um, Pavel on the SAS Group side primarily, and um, an attorney and an accountant. Like that was, that was the team. And so the company, if you're going to sell it, has to has to be at a position where you can step away right from the helm and somebody else can take it are, are your processes in place are your financials solid is your product market fit solid um is your technology solid uh, and making sure each of those pieces your customer service your customer success is, is that all in place and if you can look yourself in the mirror as a ceo and says yeah uh, and not not every place is perfect we weren't perfect by any stretch of the imagination but if you have your company at some level of maturity you can entertain these inquiries right and for us it came back to who was a good cultural fit and sas group was a good cultural fit and i think that's born itself true that assumption has borne itself true over the last 12 months since we um, did the transaction. And I don't know if you're ever ready, um, but I was ready. I think Nick was ready. Um, and it, it just worked out so far, knock on wood, right? It's worked out good for everybody.